Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're gonna be opening the Asian Mall box. So this box is one that I hadn't heard of before. They contacted me after I did the Yum Yum box a couple of weeks ago. And they said, we have a box. It's mostly a snack box. We have other boxes too, but we're gonna send you a snack box. And it may or may not have other things in it. You'll see when you open it. So I'm like, okay, that sounds interesting. I like food and it's supposed to be Asian snacks. That's the general thing. If you wanna go to their website, you can check it out right there. Uh, Asian, or I guess it could be Asian if the E is pronounced like it is in like Japanese. I mean, obviously I don't have an E, you get the idea. It could be Asian, technically, like a play on words. I don't know. Anyway, this thing's really heavy, so I'm thinking it's the biggest snack box they have, which also comes with like collectibles and stuff in it, which is kind of interesting. It's like a mix. So I thought it would be a fun video to do. And I'm, I do apologize, I look a little disheveled. I'm in the middle of grilling a turkey and it's 40 degrees outside and I'm grilling it outside and I'm, I'm coming in here to do this and going back out there, so I'm sorry I don't look as, as proper as I normally do, but uh, we're gonna do it anyway because I need to get this video done and I need to cook the turkey and it should be able to sit on its own for a little while. And no, it's not Thanksgiving, it's the Saturday after. If you're wondering, I'm shooting this on a Saturday and we didn't do anything on Thursday due to schedules and things like that. I don't think I'm gonna need the knife anymore. So I'm kind of excited, kind of worried. I don't know what's in here. So it could be good things. It could be bad things. Okay, well, so far I like it. I like their style. It says right here, there's a sticker. It says, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sort of a pro gamer, which, you know, yeah. I can hold my own in some games when I'm trying. It's okay, I might be able to, might be able to hang if I could actually spend the time to practice like the pros do. So first thing we have here is, it's like a little game thing. It says The Walking Dead, and then it's just like a little fun thing to do. So we're gonna set that aside. We have some coupons and discount codes and things. If there's anything relevant, I'll put it in the description. We have Carol's Cookies and some other opener people on there. We're gonna, if any of that's relevant, I'll look at it and I'll put it in the description. You guys probably don't need to see that right now, though. Oh, okay, first thing I see. It says, here, let me take it out of the package. This is like the uh, Walking Dead door that says, uh, don't geek, open inside. Just like the, the beginning of the Walking Dead when Rick is in the hospital, it said don't dead open inside. Let's see if it fits my big melon. I think the cat might be eating plastic over there. These damn cats. Okay, that might work. It's like a trucker style hat. My head's a little bit too big for most hats. I have to get my hats made at special places that make big hats, but this one's kind of not too bad. Does it look terrible? I think it looks a little bit small, but that's okay. We're gonna do the video with the hat on anyway. First thing I see, I've heard of this stuff. I think it's pudding. I think it's pudding. So this is gonna be one of those food videos for sure. I see mostly snacks, at least maybe all the way snacks. So this is mango flavor. Warning, not suitable for children under three. Uh-oh, <laughs> food shouldn't have warnings per age when it's just a malleable substance. I don't have any utensils, so hopefully I don't need any utensils. I'm just gonna, wow. If I can open it, I don't think I can open it. I can't open it. No wonder it's not suitable for children under three. It's not, you can't open it. I'm gonna use my knife to open it as delicately as I can. Wow, it's like hermetically sealed. I think it's pudding. Good enough. I think I can I can work with that. Maybe ooh, it's not pudding. What the heck? What are we doing here? It smells interesting. It's in my eye. It's like jello. It's like really thick jello. Mmm, but it tastes really good. It tastes really good. That's the weirdest thing. It looks like silly putty, but it tastes really good. I didn't think I was gonna make a mess doing this. Professionalism. Get out of here, cat. The cat's trying to eat. Get out of here, cat. Next thing we're gonna do is this. I am so sticky right now from that thing. That pudding jello. 
Bing, Bing Bing, no, cat, no. Strawberry flavored cone snack. The cat wants the pudding jello. So it looks like a little powdery ice cream cone. The cone's normal. And then it's got like uh, nougaty strawberry cream inside. That's good. That's really good. You get two, you get three of those. All right, that's a win. These guys right here, this is actually a funny story. I mean, it's not a funny story, but it's a story. These are little tiny boxes of gum. And I have many Asian friends, actually all my friends in real life in my area, not the ones I have in other places. They're all Asian. And he used to bring, one of them used to bring these to school all the time. So he used to always chew these awesome gums. They taste great. They're all fruit flavored. They taste really, really good, but they lose their flavor really fast. I don't need to try those right now because it's gum and I can't do anything with it. What do we have here? Beef jerky, five spice beef jerky. So Asian five spice is good. I'm assuming that's what they're referring to. There's a couple different types of it though. Like I've had some with cinnamon and some without. Let's see which one this is. But I, uh, I do use Asian five spice or Chinese five spice somewhat regularly in my cooking. This is definitely the kind with licorice or anise. I hate that flavor so much. Black jelly beans, the bane of my existence. But it tastes good otherwise. It's super tender too. Hmm. That's weird. I don't mind the anise flavor so much. And to say that just a little bit differently, it means something completely different. So we're not gonna do that. Non-fried bamboo charcoal, did I say charcoal? Charcoal noodle. I have to cook that. I'm gonna have to do that separate, guys, because like I said, I'm going to cook a turkey. I am cooking the turkey. We're gonna set that one aside. I didn't think I was gonna have to cook stuff. Let's try this. Cheese rings. Cheese flavored snack. I'm guessing they're gonna taste like every cheese flavored snack we have here in the States. I'm not so sure these are like authentic Asian snacks because it says cheese rings on it. Wow, why is it? I can't open any of these packages with my bare hands or with my human hands. Ooh, ooh, they smell extra cheesy. Which eyes open? There it is. They're your standard cheese puff, basically. But they're ring shaped, so they're more fun to eat. I could definitely eat those. I like this box. There's all kinds of good stuff in here. What do we have? Roasted peanuts with coconut. Ooh, they're like, it looks like they're coated, maybe. They're gonna be fresh. Coated roasted peanuts with coconut. Ooh, they smell really good. And they definitely are coated. I don't think you could see inside there. Oh, yeah you can, look at that. Hmm. They um, don't taste like coconut. They taste like honey roasted peanuts, <clears throat> but they're extra crunchy. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but there's a thick layer of whatever coating that is. It's definitely not coconut. But it tastes good, and I got a whole can of them. Mmm. I know what I'm snacking on later. What else? We have a couple of cookies. Can't beat a good cookie. Almond cookies. So it should be just like a basic almond flavored cookie, which means it could taste like wood. Or it could be delightful. Oh, so there's an almond in it. I wonder if the, the dough itself is almond flavored. Let's see. It's kind of exciting. It looks good. Ooh. 
Well. It doesn't not taste like wood. But it's almost like a sugar cookie. Well, it's like a sugar cookie with almond flavoring, so it's kind of like wood, but it's not bad. It's like, okay. I gotta be careful what I say. All these things are gonna sound really weird if I say them just a little bit wrong. So I can't do that. But I like the texture, so I'm gonna eat the rest of the cookie. We have these. I don't know what they are. It looks like some kind of fruit. It almost looks like a pear. One of those cards is supposed to say what's in the box, but I didn't look at it. That takes all the fun out of it. I can't even open this. Why won't any of these things open? I think it's just like a hard candy. It smells really good. Yeah, it's just your standard hard candy. I don't know what kind of fruit that is though. Does anybody know what that is? Can you guys see that? Well, I mean, I'll have looked it up by the time you're seeing this, but you guys can guess at what it is if I decide to look it up. It's not bad. Don't need to eat it though. Gotta move on. What is the, ooh, dried mango chips. So here's the thing, like these all have English on them. I'm thinking these are like English versions, American versions, or at least westernized versions of Asian snacks. Not like the Yum Yum box where the packages were full on in Russian. But I don't know if you guys have ever had dried mango. It's super good. Heck yeah, that's a big pouch too. So good. Mm. If you don't, if you never had dried mango, you can go get some at like Costco. Go get some. I think they have it. I think it's good stuff. I think we only have one thing left. I kind of bumped out my only thing was a hat that doesn't really fit me, but that's okay. Oh! Spoon. Now we can have a proper taste of the other mango product again. That is such a weird consistency. You guys see that? It's just like that silly putty or, no, the slime stuff that they used to give you that wasn't actually sticky but was still kind of sticky. Like when you were a kid you used to get these things and your parents would get mad when you come home. This little spoon sucks. But this stuff tastes really good. All right, last thing we have. A can of beverage. White cream soda. Yogurt flavor. Yogurt flavor white cream soda. Hmm. All right, well, this one's actually in a different language, so I'm a little excited. We're getting some culture. Anthony's Customs, where you get culture. That's my new slogan. This is definitely culture, by the way. It's definitely fizzy. Ooh, ooh, it smells so good. Oh, I have to eat the ramen. Ramen. I always call it ramen. How many of you grew up not knowing that it was pronounced ramen? And so you called it ramen because your phonetical spelling taught you it would be ramen. And now you still have a hard time saying it properly. I do. And I'm even teaching myself Japanese and I still call it ramen instead of ramen sometimes. Anyway, I have to cook that and try that. But we're going to do that separate. This smells delightful. Cream soda is like the best soda anyway. So let's see. It's delightful. I, I wouldn't say it actually tastes like yogurt. It's got one of those narrow mouths on it. Remember from the 90s before they widened the mouth of the can? <sighs> that is freaking good. That is the best cream soda I've ever had. Now, that's not exactly fair to say because I normally drink diet soda, but that is really good. Let's read the ingredients. Not out loud, because you don't need to read that. Uh, it doesn't say anything about yogurt, even though it's yogurt flavor. That is really good, though. This 
with a few of these. Oh yeah. Guys, this box is awesome. So I don't know which box this is technically. I don't know, go to their website, esianmall.com, and you can see what options they have. I'm not getting paid or anything for this, by the way. <laughs> they just sent me the box so I would open it. So I don't have like a special link or a discount code or anything like that, but I don't know. I mean, you saw the box. There's pretty good stuff in here. I liked it. I'm gonna have another one of these real quick. I should go cook that ramen, huh? Mm. I am gonna go cook that ramen real quick. So I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna cook that ramen and I'll let you know what it tastes like. I'll be right back. I tended to the turkey, I cooked this ramen and it looks like no ramen I've ever had before. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show you guys. I guess I can do this. So it's gray. It did say charcoal, so the noodles are gray. And I had to put a packet of vegetables dehydrated vegetables which is kind of standard a packet of seasoning and some kind of packet of liquid I don't know what the liquid was it didn't smell like anything it looked like honey but very thin it didn't smell like anything the overall look and smell of this indicates to me that there is seaweed in it it looks like seaweed it could be something else but there's a significant amount of green stuff and it smells a little bit like sushi and I don't I don't eat sushi but obviously it's not sushi. So we're gonna give it a, a taste and see what these gray noodles actually taste like. They look like, they look like they're gonna taste okay. Let's see. There's almost no flavor. It's interesting. It smells very strong of seaweed. I think it's seaweed, it could be another thing I don't know about, I don't know. And and fish, like fish stock, like maybe it was fish oil or, not fish oil, but some kind of fish sauce, I don't know. But it doesn't, doesn't really taste like it. Let's try to get a chunk of whatever it is that was dehydrated. Maybe that'll ramp up the, the flavor. It's not bad. It just doesn't have much flavor. So, I don't know. I think that's a win though. So we got the mango strips, the beef jerky, those strawberry ice cream cones. Those were great. I got three of those, so those were nice. Those cheese rings, which were also very good. What else, the peanuts, this stuff. This stuff's really good. The ramen, ramen's pretty tasty. What else? We got some gum, some hard candies. Can we get anything else? I don't know. I don't know what else we got. There's a lot of stuff though. I got a hat for having a giant head that doesn't fit normal size hats. This hat almost fits me. So you guys that have normal size human heads will have no problem at all wearing the hat. So that's a good thing. I think that's a pretty cool box. <sighs> Hopefully I get another Yum Yum box, because I like the Yum Yum box, because it's different countries. This looks like it's basically just Asian snacks and not necessarily all completely authentic. I'm not sure they came up with cheese rings primarily. I could be wrong. I don't know. It looked like it was Chinese on it. It had Chinese on it. Maybe they did. I don't, I don't know about Chinese people using cheese too much, but maybe they do. I could be completely wrong. So either way, this is a cool box. I like it. I definitely would say I recommend it. Uh, I don't know. It depends what kind of collectible thing you get too, because like the hat, it's not bad, but maybe I'd like to have an action figure better. I don't know. I know they've done that, but I think that's kind of cool that they mix the th things in, and I really like that they included this. The beverage makes it nice, because you get like a whole meal in a box, a whole bunch of really healthy items to have as a meal. So yeah, I think it's cool. At least check it out. You guys saw the website. It's asianmall.com. I, I might have said Asian Mail at some point because I used to think that's what it was when they first contacted me, but that's not what it is, so, eh, I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was cool. I, uh, I'm not unhappy. I wouldn't be unhappy if I had paid for it. They sent it for free, obviously, but uh, it's not like I'm getting anything to tell you I like it, so you guys know that I actually like it. So, there you go. I guess I'm gonna go eat my ramen, and then I'm not gonna have any room for my turkey, and then I'm gonna go play some video games, because we're streaming tonight, which will have been last night by the time you're seeing this. So hopefully you tuned in.
All right, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video at least a little bit. I enjoyed making it at least a little bit, so everybody wins. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. We have new videos up every single day. And don't forget this. This is a big thing. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the videos. Just click that thumbs up. It really does help. YouTube uses it in determining how successful channels are. And then if you get more thumbs ups, thumbs, thumb ups, whatever it is, you get more of those. They like your channel more and they push it more to like subscription feeds and recommended video lists and things like that. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, don't give it a thumbs down because that that's just mean. It hurts. It hurts right here. All right, I'm going to go, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.